Hello everyone and welcome to the Minecraft Snapshot 13W27B Yeah So I'm going to be showing you what I've what I've been doing in well it was Snapshot A but it updated so what I did yesterday is I created a spinning sign and a changing color block that's not textured see and this this isn't on at the moment but it changes tone where it, it spawns in a note block with the value of a, like a note that just goes up and down the octaves or whatever I'm not really a music person but this is all the commands command blocks that tell it to change block see set block uh, location 25 is the note block ID I could use um uh, there's a new format called I don't know what it is but it's minecraft and then I could put note block or something not block whatever and the data tag note 0 is the note so the first note and they're all basically the same except the note changes and so is the second ID so it doesn't so it won't spawn something if it has the same ID same thing it is as it so yeah this one spawns all the the sign well each individual sign pointing in each direction except just a minute ago I realized that this only goes up to 12 I think yeah it only goes up to 12 but actually it goes up to 15 so if you wanted to make the spinning sign the only way you could do it is if you added three more so it goes up to 15 this only goes up to 12 but it's fine at the moment so this oh yeah I was testing stuff so this is how you would you add stuff to the sign you put text one for the top line text two for the second text three third and fourth um, you use the slash set block command and the replace handle to replace the block or you could use destroy keep it would just it would just keep it there <laughs> it would keep the previous block and not replace it so this is from here to here is just a location this is the ID of the sign and this is direction of the sign we need to change this to zero so yeah so then this this one spawns it facing in the zero direction then the next one in the one two three four five six so then like that, 12 so these are all the directions in which they can face it's up to 15 zero faces uh, south four would face west eight would face north and twelve would face east and you need to have this one for the last one so it would spin around smoothly so it looks alright still no? yeah it looks fine it's not like it's missing anything but I don't know you may want to add those if you want to so yeah this one it just spawns each individual ID of these which is annoying as a not just one two three four five it's this one's one uh, this one is like four this one's f 14 this one's like five yeah, it's weird but whatever but whatever these are the, that's this one it just spawns in the block it's quite simple location of the block and then 35 for for wool and then 14 for what color and 14 is red yeah these are the notes yeah I talked about that um let's talk more about things in the sh snapshot now you can now make bigger portals so you can put so you can bring gas into the overworld to grief people on servers that sounds like fun uh, that's just I was going to break that, but no. It's just stopped over here. Boop. That works. So yeah, uh, you can now add data values, data tags to 
like items so you can now have skull owner and my like put your name on the head so now you can get your own head we so you can have an army of heads i tried figuring out how to spawn them in but it it just didn't work because they use a different id for it to be on the floor and i couldn't figure out how to change it from a skull yeah i don't know i'm not sure i'm not really sure about these data tags um so that's how you would spawn in your head you just put, replace your name uh this is i was testing out the summon command trying to get a, a painting this is falling sand because i was trying to test that but i was trying to get a painting to spawn on here and constantly keep changing but it wouldn't work so sad other commands that have been added that's it's in help for we have tail raw and test for block i don't have a test for block thing but this is you would, it would just test for a block if it's in the location so if it tests for a block like here i can test for a sign you could test for redstone it's redstone wire i didn't know that um what other things are there there's slash set block before that's all the commands i think uh set block that's there yep i think that's about it is there anything else oh yeah about the tail raw thing i'm not sure how to code in json yeah json is just a, a javascript but I, I don't know javascript i should learn but oh well maybe i should i'll look into it well there was going to be a blog post about it so I'll probably read that. So, well, this is, well, I guess this is Ninja signing out. There's, it, everything's done. I'll put, like, the commands for how to make these in the description if you want to look. But that's it. Goodbye.